you may have heard of something called embeddings in artificial intelligence. And usually this is sort of a way to take usually tokenized input. So the input that has been broken into individual tokens, these could be words, these could be letters or other things. It doesn't necessarily have to be natural language processing, although it often is. And that's represented into some much larger numeric vector that puts similar things closer together. So ideally, like castle and fortress would be close together in, in this high dimensional vector space. So we're going to take a look at just what exactly are embedding layers in PyTorch. Sometimes you will bring in embedding layers that have been pre-trained for something. Word to Vec is a very classic example of this. So here we are going to specify the number of embeddings. So in this case, there are 10 of them. So 10 different tokens or items that could be looked up. If you were doing the letters, this would be 26 for, for the English letters anyway. And then the embedding dimension, that's four. That's how many numbers dimension space we're, we're blowing it out into. And then we're going to use this optimizer. We're going to use Atom to actually find a optimal embedding space for certain items. Loss function, we'll just use the uh, mean square error. So if you just print out the embedding layer, it is 10 by 4 because it's a lookup table, really. These are just lookup tables of 10 different entries for the 10 different items and then the four numbers, the vector that represents each of those 10 items. And here we just go ahead and create it. It was, it was initialized to random numbers. So the lookup table from one to two anyway, is, are these four numbers. So these are two of the entries that are in there. These are just random. There's nothing special about them, at least not yet. And you can print out the entire weights of the whole thing. This is all of the, the lookups that you have. You can certainly transfer in an embedding. So here we're putting in a lookup of just 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 on a simple 3. This, so this is a different embedding than the one we were just looking at, the 10 by 4. This is a 3 by 3, really. 3 embeddings and 3 dimensions. And now we can see that the, the output is going to be whichever one you tell it to look up. It's, it's simply going to give you that value in the lookup table. Fundamentally, the embedding layer is just a lookup table. Now, it's just a lookup table until you go to train it. And then it's still a lookup table, but it's a lookup table that hopefully makes some sense. So here, we're gonna train a neural network. We're putting in these textual reviews, but then we're gonna label them as positive and negative. So kind of doing sentiment analysis. So here we encode the reviews according to um, a size of 50 that is splitting across the words. And then you can see the encoded reviews, what they, what they look like, 16, 8, 5, 25. So this is, this is sort of tokenizing them. And then we train, we're, we're, while well, we're putting the reviews in and we're padding them, because you can see each of the words, you have the words here but they, they don't, not all review is of the same length. So that's why you've got some padding going on the zeros. And then we are going to put it into a sequence through a neural network so that we can actually train it. So we're putting in the embedding layer, the vocab size and, and eight, which is the size of the vector that we want to put it into. And we're going to put it into a sigmoid. So it's just a classification neural network. We go ahead and we train it. And that adjusts each of those vectors in the lookup table, the embedding, so that they're more optimal, that the, the sentiments that are the closest are closer together. And here you can see we just print out the, the entire lookup table. So those are all of the values, the vectors that were learned to make this more effective. Thank you for watching the video and if this was useful give me a like. This is the introduction to uh, to vector encoding. We'll certainly see see more with this as we continue the class so subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything.